all right, the middle class needs to wake up. I'm not, I'm not talking about the black middle class. I'm talking about everybody who falls in the middle class, all right? Because the rich corporate cats of these financial institutions, they're not stupid. Their organizations, their shells got hurt, but all the power players walked away with millions of dollars and they're on the beach somewhere getting drunk and, you know, <laughs> playing pickup basketball. All right, that's what they're doing right now. Um, because they're smart. See, and you know, if this is not true, it's not true. But a lot of middle class people, right, in their minds want to feel like they're doing better. I'm not going to say they want to be upper class, but they want to feel like they're doing a whole lot better. So they don't want to drive Camrys. They want to drive BMWs, right? They don't want to live in this neighborhood. They want to live in that neighborhood. They don't want to have, you know what I mean, have to go to, the, they don't want a spa, they want a pool with the, you know, the rocks and, you know, the grotto and all that stuff. That's what they want. But guess what? Their salaries, even if they're making, mommy and daddy are making 100000 they realize that that shit doesn't go far enough. Hey, what's going on? You know, I got my MBA or I have a master's. I need all this. So you know what happens? The rich cats say, you know, hey. I give you some credit and help you get that stuff, cause you know, you know, you should, you deserve those things. You should live like a king. Yeah. No, 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 no. Regular people don't drive Camrys and Altimas. Not even Acuras, man. An Acura? Come on, man. That's just a glorified Honda. They drive BMWs and E classes. Come on, and Audis. You need to get there. You don't have enough money. I'll give you credit. Wait a minute. All right. And in the back of their mind, the rich fat cats understand that they're going to overspend and go a far above and beyond. All right. They know what's going on because they control the job. They can pull the plug. They're not stupid. Come on now. They're not dumb. All right. And so they talk about the cycle, the cycle, the cycle. This is the fucking cycle. I mean, even people in, you know, poverty, you know what I mean? Even, especially for black people, you know, we're still wearing J's and we're still doing all this stuff. We don't have credit because, you know, we've ruined it already, right? But even whatever money we have, you know, we, you know, we're buying Jordans or we're buying whatever we need. So, but it's more pronounced in the middle class because, you know, they have more resources and they have access to more credit, lines of credit, right? Oh, don't even forget houses, you know what I mean? You're, you're, hey, forget a two-story house, you need a three-story Forget four bedrooms. You need six bedrooms with the upstairs living room and the upstairs kitchen. But let me stop. So this cycle keeps on going, right? So eventually, you know, the middle class goes beyond what they can afford. So everything collapses, right? And that's what's happening now. Everything's collapsing. Like, I, I don't really have a hard time comprehending what's going on just because people couldn't afford it. Like, I live in Southern California. If you drive around and you see some of the houses that are foreclosed, you're like, what the... You have to be bound just to live here. How the hell don't you have this house anymore? Why would anybody give you this house? But that's a different story. Alright? So, everything's down. Everything, you know, the big financial cats, you know, oh, we, we didn't know, we didn't know. So, everything is settled. The government says, we're going to get you back to business, right? So, in a couple of years, you know what's going to happen? Jane, who has her MBA, and Billy, who has his, his, also has his MBA, or let's say his master's, goes to their mailbox, and open up their mailbox, and they get a letter from the bank saying that you're pre-approved for a credit line of 10000 Hey, honey, let's get that pool. Hey, honey, let's get this car. Hey, honey, let's, you know, get whatever we don't need. And guess what? The fat corporate giants, this time it's probably going to be their kids and their nephews, this time it's going to be them. They're going to come back and say, all right, let's start the cycle all over again. I'll give you a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, to the point where you can't handle it anymore. All right? Everything's going to collapse. Our businesses are going to fall, but we're going to be okay. We're going to walk away with our millions, and we'll let our business take the hit, and we'll let the government pay for any, everything, and let them handle it. Yeah, we'll pay back what we have to pay back, but the, it's the business money, not my personal money. None of my personal money is involved in all this. Ha ha ha. That's what everybody doesn't know. My account's still nice. 
Ha ha ha. And the cycle will happen all over again, and it will keep on happening and keep on happening. Until A, uh, I don't know, our whole government system and our whole way of capitalism breaks down and we are on, under some new rule. Or B, when the middle class realizes that you can't have everything. And that you need to be happy with what you have. End of story.